Okay, so hi everybody. I've just switched this camera on right from where I'm sitting here. I've got that screen is on here. So how did I get to do that? Well, if you are using Filmic Pro like I'm using Filmic Pro, you could be using an app which is the Filmic Pro remote app. Uh, that gives you the ability to connect and put it on another device and you're able to see the screen or you can actually operate that uh, device remotely here or you could have what they call a producer's viewpoint on it i'm not too sure exactly what's on that screen but pretty much you buy that application so you have filmic pro and you buy the thing that works with filmic pro um, so if you don't want to buy that and use it or you've got another camera if you've got the uh, um, any other camera that works on your device. Now I'm using an Android device that uh, it will work on a uh, Apple device also. If you've got any other camera and you want to be able to utilize it, um, you know, fiddle with the settings. And if you're using the back camera, you can't see what's going on. So you maybe want to monitor what's happening. Um, this program is going to be perfect for you. I've done a tutorial on this program called AnyDesk. It's the sort of competitor for TeamViewer. TeamViewer is quite big. AnyDesk came along. I did a, a, a thing that's on my channel just explaining a little bit about AnyDesk. But it's literally a remote application. You, you can control devices. You can control your PC from your phone. You can control your phone from your PC, etc. Uh, just like TeamViewer does. It's just so much more streamlined. And specifically for this purpose, uh, if you download the... Uh, any desk application from the app store onto both devices so i've got this phone i'm using a phone and the phone i'm recording on i've got any desk installed on it you go to the app store download any desk when you install it it's also going to ask you to install another plugin an any desk plugin it will take you to the app store to do that it's going to ask certain permissions just give it permissions what any desk is is a remote control of another device so we're having any desk on this device controlling that device. So it's not just mirroring what we're seeing there. We are actually, this screen is that screen. So if I, if I touch here and I move here, it's showing me the cursor on that particular screen. Okay, so that's, that's what we have here. Uh, a key point about this is that you must be on the same network. So if you're on a LAN network or a Wi-Fi network, both devices must be on the same because that's the way they communicate. Um, in some cases, they, can, they recommend that you can use Bluetooth. I, I'm not a fan of Bluetooth. So what you can do is, and works actually much better than a, a Wi-Fi router, because the Wi-Fi router has to go and find the route and come back. One of these phones can create a hotspot. So you create a Wi-Fi hotspot on one of your phones. And because the devices are close to each other, the connection is perfect. The quality comes through. There's almost zero latency between the two. Because that's what you want to have when, you, when you're viewing a visual on this one that's coming across a network. So hotspot just works well. And you're going to probably be about 5-10 meters to where the camera is. You might have somebody operating the phone camera, taking it close, etc. Uh, or maybe having their lapel might go out. And you might be standing somewhere else monitoring as such. Okay. But in a case like this, we're going to just use this as a case scenario. I'm busy talking to the screen, so that's not a problem for me to see myself. But most of the times you use the back camera and then you can't see yourself. So you need to have something like this where you basically can look at it and see, OK, there I am. And then you can move the focus ring. So there's, I think they call it a reticular. Oh, yeah, I forgot what the name is. But this focus little area and the exposure area you can move it here and when you lock the exposure and everything but you're doing it on this device but it's working that thing uh, what you're seeing here is actually over there L let me just show you like as i'm recording here now i'm going to change the exposure and you can see you'll see how it goes dark so let me tap here uh, where are we i'm going to lock i've just locked the uh, shutter speed and there we go okay so you see i can drop the exposure i can lift it up and everything so, I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing that. So, if I'm sitting here now, I can check, okay, there we go, exposure looks good. Okay, we're going to lock it in there. There, I've got it locked. And I haven't now gone from where I'm sitting to fiddle on the phone. I'm basically working remotely with it. Okay, so how it connects is you, you I recommend that you start up your, 
your application, whether it's Filmic Pro or any other phone application, you minimize it. Then you connect any disk. Okay, you're going to connect, connect any disk here. The one you're connecting to is going to give you a code, uh, a number usually, say it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You would then take this, any disk, you open it up, and you'll type in the number here, and you press the arrow button, it will then connect over the network, and it will ask permission on your phone, on the camera phone, to accept. Okay, because that's a security thing. Just remember, um, you can set it up that it automatically, in my case, mine automatically connects to that when I request because I've got passwords and that's set in the back end. But be very careful that you don't give away passwords and all that. I recommend that you just keep the standard way, check the number, type it in here and accept it there. Because if you're using it for your phone, you can, you know, wherever you go, you literally switch the thing on, check the number, put it in, accept it. Then you know there's no security breach of connecting into phones. Because literally what you're doing is you're using this device to connect to that phone and you have access to all the stuff on the phone. Okay, so now I have a remote device controlling that particular phone. So, I mean, and it costs zero rand. If you're not using it for commercial purposes, which we most of us would be using it just for our home recordings and that sort of stuff, then you've got a perfect remote control of your second phone. And, and this might, we used to use it also, we still use it for uh, teleprompters where we connect one device to a teleprompter. So when the person is doing a thing, we can actually slow the teleprompter or speed it up and control it remotely here using exactly the same program, AnyDesk. So you'll find a lot of other uses probably for, for the program. Um, I just came across this now because I was looking at the Filmic thing and I was thinking, okay, I want to buy this app because I love the remote. And then I thought, Oh, but I mean, we, we have applications that do this. I do this regularly with clients, connect to their PCs. Um, but I didn't really experiment with the phone-to-phone -phone story. And this thing is seamless. It's so beautiful. It's because when I look at this, I'm seeing the iPhone. And let me just show you that if even if I go here and I tap, you can see these. there's the menus and everything that pops out. And you have all that flexibility on here because I'm basically on any desk here, any desk there. So for those of you who are looking for your remote control, putting your tripod up, running your podcast and everything, set it up nicely, check your focus from where you are. Okay? And, and I mean, if you have the zoom button, I have just disabled the zoom feature there. But if you have a zoom feature, then pretty much while you're talking, you could do a little slight zoom in and all that. Practically because you're working on that phone. Okay? I've said it like five, 10 times, but it's very exciting to be able to have that amount of control across there. So there's no excuse for having a nice video recording of you positioned well, composed well, in focus, sharp, exposure, correct, everything, and ready to go. So I'm going to now disconnect from the phone here, and we're gonna go one, two, three, and I'll disconnect and say, yeah, one, two, three, goodbye.